study by the European Union shows that iPods are more dangerous than people think. Brian McCallan joins us live in the newsroom with more. Brian? Studies are right. The iPods can damage your hearing, and people still don't understand that. MP3 players. They're good for listening to your favorite tunes, but they're not so good for your ears. The European Union says that if young people are listening to MP3 players for too long, they're likely to lose their hearing. San Francisco State's Communicative Disorders Clinic audiologist Chris Folk says that listening to MP3s for hours can cause long and short-term hearing damage. The problem starts if you overexpose yourself to loud sound the first thing you're going to notice is a probable dull feeling in your ears, rather like they were packed with cotton. Listening to MP3s for long periods may also make the hearing problems worse. Perhaps accompanied by a tinnitus, which is a ringing sound. The small headphones for the iPods may cause the most damage to a person's ears. But are the big headphones from the 80s safe from hearing loss? You would like to think they are, but in effect, they aren't any safer than any other kind. Here's what SF State students said about iPods contributing to hearing loss. I need to hear it loud. Usually the music I listen to is loud. I understand that headphones could damage my hearing, but I feel it's a risk I'm willing to take. So you can still listen to your favorite music on your portable MP3 or even your computer-based player. Just make sure that you don't listen to the songs for too long and for too loud in one setting. You'll save yourself from hearing loss. Brian McCallan, State of Events.